Hello everybody, welcome back to my Country Sparkles channel. Today, we are going to build some bee boxes as part of our bee building series. We're gonna build a medium bee box and a deep bee box. This is the medium up here and this is the deep down here. In our area, we like to have two deep boxes so that way the bees have enough stored in the winter time and the medium boxes we use as honey boxes. Terrence is going to tell you the tools and equipment that he likes to use to put these together and we will assemble a couple of these bee boxes for you right now. Thanks Rachel. Building a bee box I think is uh, pretty simple. Uh, it does not take a lot of advanced tools or things like that. Um, most of the stuff you could you could put together um, you know, either for a quick little trip to your hardware store or uh, you know, you may have most of the necessary tools um, around your home or homestead. Uh, first off, these are unpainted boxes, so I, I definitely love to add some wood glue. Uh, I think that, that really helps uh, give it a lot of strength. There are different types of wood glue, um, not, not talking about brand necessarily, but there are types. Uh, typically like a type 1 wood glue is more of an indoor wood glue, and a type 2 or 3 is for outdoor. So we're going to use a type 3 uh, wood glue here today because these are going to be exposed to rain and snow and, and all those outdoor elements. Uh, you can use screws or nails. I like to use just two inch wood screws. Uh, th that seems to work really well for me. Um, I, I really like it. Um, you could also use a, a nail. Some kits come with the nails included. Uh, these did not, so I, I just grabbed the two inch screws. I I'm going to use a drill to put it in. Uh, probably a little bit of muscle, but you could definitely, uh, you know, most of these woods are pretty soft enough. You could, you could probably get it in with just a screwdriver if you wanted. I find that a hammer, I prefer some sort of either a rubber mallet or a dead blow mallet, uh, you know, really helps, I think, just to kind of help move things together. You don't want to use a ton of force if it's not going in together. Uh, you may, you know, want to pull a, a little bit of sandpaper or something just to, to work it together. And then the last tool that I find incredibly helpful for building lots of things with the beehives is a roofing square. Um, it gives you that nice 90 degree angle that you can work against because we do want things to be squared up uh, so it fits together nicely. Um, and I like the size. I can use these on frames. I can use these on the bee boxes. It's a pretty cool tool. Uh, some people, you may have like a bigger square. Um, if you have one of these, totally will work fine. It's just a little bit uh, more work to move it around. If you don't have a, a square like this at home and you don't want to go buy one, you know, think of just you know anything that's got a, a nice 90 degree angle that you can use. Um, that will help you. A book might work, right? You know, things like that, right? To, to really put this together and make sure it's square. So, with that, Let's build a box. Okay, so let's grab this. Each of the each of the bee boxes takes four parts. the The front ends or back sides, uh, however you want to look at it, um, are a little bit narrower. They're they're longer on the on the sides. A couple things you want to always watch for. Um, if your kit has handles, you want those all facing up the same direction. I, I've uh, heard stories of beekeepers who put things together the wrong way, and and uh, it's just that's just a uh, not ideal. One, one other thing, these boxes um, have nice dovetail joints, so you'll see that they're, uh, you know, kind of have that uh, little bit of an hourglass angle, I guess, if you want to think of it like that. So they will only go together one direction, uh, which makes that even simpler. You'll, you'll uh, know how it has to go. The other thing I like about this is uh, you only have to put screws or nails in the one end, and the holes were already pre-drilled on this. If your kit does not have pre-drilled holes, I do recommend grab a drill, drill bit, pre-drill those holes. You don't want to be splitting out your bee boxes. Now, real quick, I like to always kind of dry fit everything and just make sure that it's going to go together um, before I start gluing and, and screwing or nailing things together. So I grab, this is a side, this is a front or back. I'm going to just look at this. I'm going to just kind of try to slide it together. Um, you know, just, just using a little bit of hand pressure here, it's going together nicely. I'm not going to shove it all the way in yet, because we're going to stop and we're going to add some wood glue. So I'm just going to gently work that out. I'm going to grab our wood glue here. I like to add just a little bit of glue um, to the sides, bottom, side, side, you know, just, just make sure you don't need a ton. Um, it's going to kind of move itself around as it goes. Again, you don't want glue running everywhere. Just a, just a little bit enough that it's gonna uh, make good contact and and help secure your box. So we've got that glue in there. We're now gonna come in here with our uh, side piece. Again, it's like great have to use your rubber mallet. You, know, you can use a regular hammer if it if it's just binding and it's not going together. 
don't force it, you don't want to break it, and, and things like that. So, um, as you can see, not a lot of glue running down. I did have just a couple little spots I cleaned up there. So, that's pretty much that. We're just going to set that piece there. Let's go next. Make sure we get the uh, set right. I'm just going to dry fit that. Looks like it's going in great. Turn this around, we'll add some glue. To, enough to make it strong, but not that it's running everywhere. Take this one, wrap it up. A couple little taps. I'm not squaring this up just yet. We will do that um, after. And double check get the uh, right side's going up. Handles up. Handles all up together. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice, glad when they come together easily like that. And when we put both of these together, I'm gonna put that left side on all at once. Go up here on the other side. There we go. And I like to try to put this this piece in, um, you know, kind of evenly. Sometimes you'll sometimes like this one went together really easily. Uh, you know, not a lot of glue there, just a little bit to touch up. Not bad. Now, now that we've got all this together. Bottom is still, you know, wet. There's always a little bit of play in these, and and that's actually a, a good thing at this point. But you'll notice that that this can can wiggle back and forth a lot. We want this. To be square and hold together, right? So as that glue dries, we want it to be square. Ah! <laughs> that was a surprise. I guess uh, make sure you're holding on to these well when you're moving it around. So we're going to lay this down. We've got a good flat surface here. You know, there's, there may be just a slight bit of wobble. If you have a significant one side that's way up, you may want to look at that and, and see if you could, you know, adjust anything at this point. Again, I'm gonna use my roofing square here. I like to, I like it because I can come in here just inside and hold it while I'm looking to screw it. I'm actually gonna turn this 90 degrees. I'll, I'll, I'll show you um, what it looks like, but I'm gonna screw it into the, this way. So we're gonna just wiggle this here just to where that corner is square. Make sure it hold that for me. I'm gonna grab just a couple of my screws. And while holding that square, it's always nice to have an extra set of hands. We'll just put these screws in. You don't want to strip anything out. And again, this was pre-drilled, which was really nice. And again, if you don't want to screw it or, or that, you can definitely nail it. Again, um, the point here is just to hold it while that glue dries. Because um, really, the glue is your strength. So Rachel's got that nice and square. Might be a little loud, but we'll link all these tools and supplies down below also for you. So that way you can buy your own if you want. Turn that around. You can see, um, you know, first looking here on the side, again, you want to make sure you watch that, that your joints didn't, uh, you know, open up and create a big gap. If so, this is the time. Uh, tighten that up. But here on the front, you can see we put in three screws on each side. You know, just sunk them in just deep enough. They don't need to be crazy deep. Um, again, we're going to square up these other two corners. Uh, at this point, it should be pretty square. If it's way off, we've probably done something wrong. I think I'm going into a knot there. Which is why I love my impact drill. Yeah, we can tell if I hear it's a knot. So yeah, this is where it's going in. Putting a screw right into that knot. So hopefully this corner came out. Looks like it did. Came out really nice and square. One more and we're done. Now look at that. Now, going back to my test earlier. I can't hardly move this, right? So 
Just those screws obviously are holding it very strong. It's now very square, very good. The glue is gonna try and just give it a lot more added strength. After which, we'll probably prime it and then paint it, get it ready for the bees. So that's how you put together a bee box to form a beehive. Thank you so much for joining us in this video today. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like down below and subscribe to our channel so that way you can see all of our upcoming future videos, especially the ones in the series about building beehives. Thanks again, you guys. Bye.